a good Nerev Shabbos. At the end of the second Parsha, which we read this week, Parshas Bolak, we're introduced to the story of Pinchas ben Alazar ben Aaron Akayin, which the Parsha tells us in Parakaf Chafhei Pasuk Zayin, Ve'ikach Pinchas ben Alazar ben Aaron Akayin, Pinchas, the son of Alazar, the son of Aaron Akayin, took, um, saw what was happening, he saw the Avera with Zimri and Cosby, he got up from amongst the assembly. He took a spear in his hand, and he acted, as we know, like a kanoi, acted like a zealot. I just want to share an idea from Reb Nosson Tzvi Finkel, Zecher Tzadik V'Kaddish Levrocha. Reb Nosson Tzvi Finkel points out something which is often pointed out in the beginning of next week's parsha, and that is that Pinchas' yichus is given already to Aaron, and over here, he did not even do the action yet. Why is it necessary to mention his yichas of Pinchas ben Elazar ben Aaron at this moment, before he even did the Misa of being a Kanai? Says in Nasan Sifinko, he says a very powerful idea, and that is Aaron, as we know, was the Ayyav Shalom Varayd of Shalom. Aaron didn't only love peace, he pursued peace, he did whatever he could to bring Shalom. It's this Mida that the Torah is telling us was so instilled in Pinchas from his grandfather. He loved people so much. That's why him and only him, Pinchas himself and nobody else, was allowed to be the one to act like a Kanai. Because a person has to have built into their DNA so much Ayev Shalom Veraydev Shalom before acting like a Kanai, before acting like a zealot. A person who, it's not difficult to act like a zealot when we don't love people anyway. Oh, I'm a big tzaddik, I'll go ahead, I'll jump after somebody. I'll find out every fault in the world with them. The Torah is letting us know Pinchas ben Alazar ben Aaron, who in, he was the grandson of Aaron. It was built into him, this incredible midah of shalom. Because of that, he was the one who was capable of doing this action, because this action as well will come out of Ava, will come out of love, will come out of absolute purity, and, and uh, will be L'Shem Shemayim, and will be purely uh, an act of holiness. Have a wonderful, wonderful Shabbos.